In these examples, we're going to be doing conversions just within the metric system. And metric system conversions are pretty easy because all we're doing is moving a decimal point. So we're either adding zeros to make a number larger or moving the decimal point to the left to make a number smaller. So let's see how that works. So if I want to go from 4200 grams to a certain number of milligrams, I'm going to look on the chart. So here's grams. To get to milligrams, it's one to three places and grams are larger than milligrams so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my 4200 and I'm going to move the decimal three places to the right which has the impact of adding three zeros so if I put my commas in then 4200 grams is four million two hundred thousand milligrams and I'm just going to leave it down here underneath because it's too big to write in that um, space Let's see how this conversion from centimeters to meters will go. So if I'm looking at centimeters, I'm here in my table. Meters are larger than centimeters, so I'm moving to a larger unit. That means I need to move my decimal two places to the left. So 45 centimeters is one, two places, 0.45 meters. The last one, 7,236,137 milliliters equals how many kiloliters? So if I'm at milliliters here, I'm going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Kiloliters is 6 places to the left of milliliters in this chart. Kiloliters is larger. So what I'm going to do is take my decimal and move it one, two, three, four, five, six places to the left. And again, this number is going to be too big for my blank, but I want to include all of the digits. So 7,236,137 milliliters is seven point two three six one three seven kiloliters so again if I'm going from a smaller unit to a larger unit I'm gonna move the decimal to the left if I'm going from a larger unit to a smaller unit I'm gonna move the decimal point to the right